It's one of the cases that we have, and then we have a list, a total list of 18 cases here. It's kind of small. I'm sorry. We can no, okay. we can also email it to I'll you. My glasses. <laughs> okay. Okay. At my age now, I'm starting to lose it. Yeah, me too. Uh, me too. Uh, so it has the loan numbers okay. and everything for each of the cases, and it has the situation. Some people are, like Larry's case, where they've already been evicted from their homes. We're looking for a rescission of the eviction. Other people are um, are in a situation where they just are looking for a loan modification. So, so um, it's everything in between. Who else is here on this list? Uh, the three, uh, these three are homeowners who are on the list. My name is Monica Kenny, and it's zero one seven seven zero 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 six nine two. And your name again, sir? Musni Ebsel Musni. And Ace has permission to speak with you with Wells Fargo about all of these cases here. Yeah, they have written permission for that. You, know, you found you find my name? I did. Yeah. I did. On Randall Street. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. So, um, Monica, so y y are you in the process of being foreclosed on? What's the? Uh... What I'm seeking is a foreclosure rescission. Um, I was specifically given um, an agreement in writing uh, that stated that there that a foreclosure would not take place on my property as long as we were in the negotiation process to, number one, um, adhere to a forbearance agreement or to take part in a forbearance agreement. Um, and essentially the reason why I came here is because I am moving forward with litigation against um, the entity that you, you're employed by. And I have no desire to enter into litigation. I would like for this situation to be resolved. I believe that it can be very simply resolved. Um, and very frankly, um, for the most part, Wells Fargo has, and myself, have worked in good faith with one another in order to make sure that documentation has been provided um, up to the point of being offered a forbearance agreement. Ever since I was offered a forbearance agreement, and the auction c took place anyway. Um, Wells Fargo has been extremely negligent in, in responding to my queries as to why we cannot resolve this issue. Um, again, uh, precluding litigation. Um, I think that this is a, a legitimate um, issue. Um, I, I would not seek litigation if I did not believe that the allegations were legitimate and true. However, my desire is to retain the home, to pay an affordable mortgage with Mel Wells Fargo, and to eventually own the home outright. Um, the amount that I paid for the home was not um, extraneous or extremely large. The loan amount um, would not need to be re renegotiated um, at a very uh, large principal reduction. However, I am requesting those things, um, and I just wanted to come and speak with you in person and, and take the opportunity to let you know that we are not unreasonable people, oh, yeah. and, yeah. and I, I recognize that Wells Fargo has a desire to, to place in the public's mind that that Wells Fargo as a financial entity is not an unreasonable financial entity. These cases and the amount of money that we're discussing here um, is, is, is very, very much uh, a, a resolvable amount of, of finance. We're not talking about millions, hundreds of millions, tens of millions. Um, so above and beyond that, you're a real individual, I'm a real individual, and these cases are <coughs> actually occurring. Um, and I've had individuals who work with Wells say, this stuff isn't occurring or this has not happened, and it is. And um, again, you know, I know Larry is desirous to avoid litigation. I am desirous to avoid litigation. Um, but believe that these are legitimate cases and that the outcome will be us prevailing, regardless of whether we remain in the home or not. I, I 
think it.